We're here at the Church of St John on Bethnal Green. Let's go inside and have a look. Welcome to St John on Bethnal Green. My name is Alan Green, Alan Green of Bethnal Green. I'm the rector of St John's um, and I've been here for almost 20 years. What can you tell me about the history of this church? St John, it's on Bethnal Green, which was the, the common land here, and St John's was the first encroachment on it in 1828. Money was given to build a number of churches. The government was afraid that with growing poverty that people would not have the benefits of faith and therefore would not be very civilised and also might be tempted to revolution. And the architecture of the church? It's designed by Sir John Soane, a major British architect who designed the Dulwich Picture Gallery and the Bank of England. He did three churches and this is one of those. Sir John Soane designed this church in, in a very simplistic way way. The very slight edging of, of the pillars behind me is the clue to the simple way that he built this. He wanted it very plain indeed and that didn't go down too well with the church as a whole. There was a big fire here in 1870 and the roof burnt off. They hired another architect to repair it um, who decided it ought to look like a proper church. So they put a lot of stuff in that hadn't been here before. They changed the design of the windows, putting all the beams in the roof here. It's also further extended at the end of the 19th century, so all of the rear dos was added. Again, it was much shorter and much plainer when Soane designed it, so it's been much played with. We've got this great building and it needs quite a lot of work doing to it, but it is a real resource. We do um, a range of concerts um, and exhibitions in the church, and then downstairs in our crypt, a range of community businesses, so we teach English to people whose language is not English and we have a community arts room where we teach stone carving and mosaic uh, and stained glass. Walking around and I noticed some very interesting artwork, particularly the Stations of the Cross. The stations represent Jesus' last journey on Good Friday from being with the Pilate at his trial to the time that, that he dies and is placed in the tomb. They are generally um, quite quiet and conservative. I had been thinking about having a modern set of stations that whilst they had the, the traditional themes, they reflected a, a very modern style. We commissioned Chris Gollan, a London artist, to paint them. We began talking about it in 1999. He started painting them in 2002 and it took another six years for the, the series of 14. Stations of the Cross to be completed. And although there was commitment from the church to have them, um, we didn't have the money to pay for them. So every time we managed to find a donor, he could go away and paint the next station. So it took six years. And he's produced amazing pieces of art. I know um, from my own knowledge that there was an incident not far from here. Could you sort of tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's a, a, the saddest incident, I think, in the whole history of the, the church. Um, in 1943, in the middle of the, the war, there had been um, a, a period where there had been no bombing in this area. Um, and then during the day on March the, the 3rd in 1943, um, people suddenly heard what they thought were, were bombs falling. Um, it turned out to be um, testing of guns in Victoria Park, but people didn't know that. And people thought that um, at that moment, without any warning, that there was a, a bomb raid on. And so there was panic and people fled to the nearest um, bomb shelters. And one of those was here at St John's and the other one is the, the underground station just over the other side of the road. And a huge number of people piling down the stairs and someone fell and within a matter of seconds, 172 people were crushed and died. It was never really acknowledged. Um, and people lived their lives really burying that memory inside them. And it's only been in recent years that there has been an attempt to provide a proper fitting memorial with the names of the people on it. 